So right now, I'm playing video games on a priceless laptop. This is Project Valerie by Razer. So you may have heard about this laptop before because only three of them have been built and two of them were stolen. So this is literally the only Project Valerie laptop that currently exists. Very few companies would build something like this. You can't imagine it coming out of Apple. Three 17-inch monitors, each at 4K resolution, which puts the you know overall pixel count around like 24, 25 million pixels. I mean, it's almost like having a VR headset on and that you get this like peripheral view. Right now I'm playing Battlefield. Oh, stabbed in the chest, stabbed in the chest. And it doesn't look you know, incredibly bigger than like my base MacBook Pro. It's just like there's more to each side of it. It's kind of wild to play a game that you can like literally look left and right and keep playing. A hyper realistic simulation like Battlefield just becomes that much more visceral. It's actually a PC gamer's dream, I guess, right? That you could show up anywhere and play these really immersive video games. But Razer actually sees its opportunity in the enterprise market. And so that could be anybody from, you know, a DJ to someone cutting video. I think for Razer as a company, like this is the question, can something like this actually bring them into the more mainstream. I mean, obviously something like this is not going to be in everybody's house, but can they sort of get a foothold on the market outside the PC gaming market that they currently have? Will it be like, you know, the next MacBook? Will it, will it sort of take over the market? Will you see them at every Starbucks? Absolutely not. But is there sort of a profitable business in this? Yeah, I think like very likely, only because nobody else is building this. Should you be excited about it? If you're a hardcore PC gamer, I think so, but it's gonna be really expensive. I guess hopefully I could work somewhere where I could convince my boss maybe to get one.